Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. In an eight-count indictment handed down last week in Pike County, 27-year-old Dustin Morley of Deskins Road at Mita was charged with several burglary and theft charges. Morley is accused of breaking into Johns Creek Elementary School on February 19th and stealing several items. The following day, he allegedly committed several crimes, breaking into a residential outbuilding and stealing, among other things, two firearms and a teenager's gym bag. He was arrested about a week and a half later. He broke into several buildings and stole items from different people, including a couple of firearms. So that turned that into a very serious situation because he knew he was being pursued. The police knew that he had stolen a handgun, and so he got everybody on edge. So actually, we're very fortunate that when he was later arrested, nobody got hurt. Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley said the crimes were allegedly perpetrated near Morley's residence. Bartley didn't mince words about alleged criminals targeting numerous people and properties in a short time period. One of the things that I'm asked is, why would somebody do something like that? Knowing the police were looking for them, why didn't they go to ground? Why didn't they try to hide? Why do they draw attention to themselves by committing other crimes? It's because a lot of criminals are stupid. You know, it's just that simple. And I tell people that all the time. Uh, I don't know why they do it, and I don't try to make sense out of what they do because a lot of them have no sense. Here's a guy, he was actually found the next morning after this sleeping in a car, and a woman came out to get in her car, and there he was. Bartley said many of the items taken by Morley were recovered. He remains lodged in the Pike County Detention Center. Reporting in Pike County for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.